Hello Internet. Welcome to video number three. I never really intended this to become a series, but it's turned into that. So, I think, like all good series, it needs a name. So from here on out, I'm going to call this ASIO for All Why the Crap Doesn't This Work. I think that sums it up pretty, pretty good, because the ridiculous amount of problems with this driver. Um, if you haven't seen the first two videos, I recommend it. I'll put the links on the screen here. Uh, the first one, just for a recap, I went through some... Uh, I think I did three techniques on how to get ASIO actually functioning. Um, and then later on I found a much better solution, which I posted in video two. You might want to look at both of those if you're having any trouble. Um, but this video, I want to specifically talk about a different issue. I mean, once it works, you'll notice that you can have ASIO playing, you can be playing your keyboard or whatever, but that locks up the sound card and Windows can't use that sound card for anything. So suppose you wanted to play a background track in Media Player, then you load up FL Studio and start playing along, you just can't do that. You'd have to load the track into FL Studio if you wanted to do that. Um, I found a way around this problem. Um, it's going to require two sound cards, which might not be a good deal for all of you laptop owners out there, but there is a solution for you too. I'm going to get into that later. Um, so just a proof of concept here. Um, I have ASIO working. As you can see, I'll load this up. I am indeed using ASIO for all. Um, and I'll play this Tetris song here. So that's working too. Which allows you to do, I don't know, something like this. Anyway, um, it works. And how did I do that? Well, like I said, it's going to require two sound cards. ASIO is going to use one of them, and Windows is going to use the other. So load up ASIO here. This is my main sound card, Sound Blaster X5 Extreme Audio, and that's actually disabled because, well, if you watch the first video, there were issues with that, so I just didn't bother using that. And I have this Logitech USB headset. Now, laptop owners want to take note here because this is actually a USB audio connector. Um, I got some pictures of it right here. It's so basically you plug it into a USB port and it gives you a headphone input and a microphone input. And the neat thing about these, they come in all shapes and sizes is they are their own sound card. They completely bypass your internal one because they have all their, all their own internal mechanics. So if you have a laptop, plugging this in will essentially give you a second sound card. And these are cheap. I mean, you can find some that are 50 bucks, but I mean, I found one here that was 9.57, or if you buy 50 or more, it can be cheaper. So um, these can also be found at Radio Shack and all over, over the place. So this is actually what I'm currently using right now in this demonstration. So we'll close that out. And we can see here that ASIO is using my Logitech USB headset. And we'll go here. And my default device, the one that Windows is using, is my Sound Blaster X5 Extreme Audio, the card that I paid a bunch of money for, and that's the one I actually want to use. Um, you'll notice that the one that ASIO is using is actually disabled, and that was a trick I showed you guys in my last video. Disabling it frees, frees it up for ASIO to use because Windows no, no longer occupies that card. So then you have to link them together, and this is going to be done on the hardware level, not the software level. So I got a diagram here. Um, what you're going to need 
is one of these things. It is a female to female audio connector. It's basically a coupler, only you have two female audio inputs going into one. And then you'll need a few male to male headphone cords. So you can have the card that Windows is using and you can plug it into one one side and you have the card as you're using you can plug it into another side and then your external speakers go into that. So basically both sound cards will work simultaneously and then the two signals are going to be mixed into one which you're going to hear out of your speakers. And it works great. So yeah, I hope that helps. Um, any comments are appreciated. If you have any trouble, please let me know. Uh, I haven't technically tried this on a laptop, but I, I think it should work. If you have different results, please write some comments and we'll get to the bottom of this. Alright.